day there. So it's uh, about June 11th, 2023. This is John in Temecula. And we've got June gloom going on. And it's uh, it's been like this all month. And it was like this all month last month. So I guess it's nice because the weather is uh, cooperating. It's uh, you know, like 63 degrees <laughs> Southern California. We're not used to this. It's usually like, you know, sunny. Anyway, so... Uh, I think I'm going to wash this car. It needs a little bit of a wash, but it needs the wheels repainted, and that's something I don't want to do, but I'm going to do it anyways because I got the paint from the last time. I did it about six years ago. You can see how the front ones, plus I got to rotate the tires, so it's not too bad, but faded. So, the oil pressure sender went bad again. Yeah. So, the manufacturer is Mer Merrill, I think. I'll post what it is. Or And I got it from FCP Euro. Let's see. I got one, I think it was a year ago. And it went bad like this after a little while. So, has a lifetime warranty, guarantee. So, I pulled it out. I sent it back. And they sent me the exact same thing because they had it in stock. So, I contacted them. them. I looked on their side. They no, no longer sell that uh, Merrill Emmy. Well, I, I forget. But they do have a VDO. I mean, uh, the the one you know, the Merrill one was was about forty dollars, you know, and that used to be a good German brand, but no longer. It's it's been, I think, China bought 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 them out or something, and just used their name, and you know, it says German on the box, then it says China, <laughs> made in China, so it's crap. VDO made in South Africa. It's supposed to be a little bit better. You know, what are you going to do? So I got to pull that thing out and send it. First, I got to buy it. Buy it. Car is washed. And there's my little setup. I'll take the wheel off, put it on there, get my chair, be able to sit down, take my time, sand it, clean it, paint it. And I got the back tire off. Time to inspect stuff. Still got some brake pads in the back. I don't think I've ever changed the changed these. Brake lines are looking a little old. Shock absorbers. They're clean. I don't see any fluid leaking out. Um, take a look at some of these bushings. I think that bushing looks okay. Not horrible. Uh, didn't have any problems with the rear end. They're just, uh, Let's take a look at the front. Bushing looks okay. These are a little worn. Not horrible. I don't see the shocks leaking. What is this? I don't feel any oil. 
but I think they need to be replaced. Still pretty clean under here from the last time I cleaned it years and years ago. Um, the pads are all right. I do think I need to tighten the wheel bearing on this. I forgot to do it last time. But anyways, so I got that off. This is the worst. The worst one. He would like to get some new tires soon. Um, for now, um, yeah, one thing I was thinking, when he gets new tires, are they going to mess up the rims? Like, you know, scratch them? Um, I don't know. I was thinking, should I do it after the new tires are on? Nah, I don't feel like doing that. I'll just warn him. Um, yeah, they could see where they... I think that right here, there was a... There was a weight on there when I got these tires put on. I, I said, could you put the weights on the backside? So ugly, you know? Sure, yeah. Okay, anyways, yeah, I gotta take this off and restore that too. All right, got my little steamer. I'm gonna... Steam away. Okay, so it's basically degreased pretty much. Now we just gotta sand it. A little 400, a little 220, and just let it sit there and soak, and then we just wet sand it. And I already primed these the last time, so I'm gonna see if I can get away without having a prime. I gotta pull this thing out. Just why I gotta deal with this crazy Southern California weather they're having now. Now they're predicting rain. This morning they predicted rain. There was no rain. Thunderstorms around 5 p.m. It's okay. After about an hour, I got it fairly smooth. I'm gonna go over it one more time. It's not gonna be perfect, but definitely time consuming it's just there's 15 holes and you got to clean each one of them out some of this uh baked on brake dust use a little brake cleaner on a rag and get that stuff off of there so i've got this first tire ready for a primer i just uh i used uh i think a 320 sandpaper so that the primer's got a lot of grit to stick to um, you can see all this stuff here. This cracking and stuff. That's the, the heat of the front uh, the front brakes. It heats, it heats up the wheel and cracks the paint. It gets that hot. That's six years, though. <laughs> um, they looked good for, for, I don't know, about four and a half years, maybe. Then they started showing signs of, you know, get, I'm getting old. And then so... Uh, I rinsed it off, soaked it down to get all the grease off, and then blew it out with a compressor and tape the edges. And then um, 
I just had an old plastic bag like that that I just uh, put on there, taped it down, sharpie around the first line of tape. And I cut the circle out of the plastic, threw it away, and then another piece of tape. And that'll keep all the primer off your tires. I don't care if paint gets on these because we're going to put new tires on eventually, but yeah. So now it's ready for primer. I hope I have some. Let's do this. two primed ready to be sanded and I don't know man <laughs> it's the middle of June and I want my money back what's the deal with this this is what I'm gonna use I think it's just called steel. Uh, yeah. Right there, so go. One full can, I think another full can. That's enough to do all four wheels. And then But a can and a half of clear. We'll see how it goes. But you know, like uh, I think about like seven dollars a can. everything under this eave here so I've got uh, two good thick coats of silver on there I wait 10 minutes between each coat let it flash off the solvent to flash off I'll spray it again then wait another 10 minutes let it flash off and stabilize and then uh, coat of clear I got one more coat of clear to come up to do it's looking uh, pretty decent for for what it is you know I mean uh, that's the front wheel that thing really needed to be uh, stripped but you know whatever <laughs> ready to put this one on I got it pretty pretty clean in there this stuff works really good this zip I'll see if I can find a link for that I need to get some more of it but it it works better than any kind of dishwashing soap it loosens the grease and uh, 
I was watching a, I followed this one channel. It was on a Periscope, a Twitter app that's no longer there, but it was a uh, classic car restoration, like European place. And there was this one gal that would uh, restore the engine bays and she was using this stuff, but it was in a different bottle. I asked her what it was and she said, it's uh, any citrus cleaner. They uh, dilute it 50-50 with water and you spray it on there and with a brush, it just gets everything, gets everything really clean. But yeah, I'll see if I can find a link. I need to buy more of that. Now to put this thing on and throw my back out. I hate putting these things on. This is how I get them on. I'm just old and it makes my back, my back's kind of messed up. So I gotta be careful, but I just got this, uh, this is a ground rod and I just stick it through one of the holes. And then right here with my feet, I just put my feet under the tire and just slip it through there. And that way I'm not like, you know, trying to line it up. Sometimes it can drive you crazy. I did put these in on a buffing wheel. So they'll be nice and shiny. Yeah. Really should get some new ones of these, but luckily the, these two, both wheels, they were okay. I know the SL one's all broken. I, I don't know if, I think it's the place I took it to have tires put on when I first got it. They didn't know how to get them out. I don't know, they broke them all, the tabs in the back that hold it. All right, now to let her down and start working on the back. Okay, let's do a comparison. So that's, that's original and that's painted with spray paint. It's a little more silvery. Not, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to tell. Okay, I'm done on this side. It takes a long time, especially cleaning those wheels up. But then I go in there and I steam clean both wheel wells and everything in there and clean it up, inspected it. I pulled the uh, parking brake or I pulled the hub on the back and inspected the parking brakes. And I had a hard time pulling the hub off so I adjusted them so they're not so far out. They're in a little bit more. And see if that makes his noise go away. Anyways, I'll do the other side some other time. <laughs> it's starting to get warm, but it's cloudy. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Okay.